Hey, I'm Anthony Romano, and this video is going to tell you if taking certain supplements is actually better than getting the same nutrients from food. So this video idea came to me from a question, and there's a lot of sides of this argument that people don't know about, so there are cases where it's better to take the supplement rather than get a certain nutrient from food, and there are cases where the reverse is true. So before I get into this, I encourage you to like the video, because if you do, that will make YouTube show my videos to more people, and that helps me. That's all you have to do to help me out is click like, and even if YouTube starts showing you some more of my videos, that's not a bad thing, but worst case, you just don't watch them if you don't want to watch it. So subscribe also follow me on instagram and go to my website romanoketo.com if you want to work together one-on-one -on -one or look at some some of my other programs and books that are coming out soon also i have a ketone supplement giveaway which is linked down below and you can read the rules it's very easy to win possibly so read that and join if you want So, are taking supplements better than getting the same nutrients from foods? It really depends on the nutrient because certain ones will come in more bioavailable sources in foods, and that's generally the best way you want to build up your levels of certain nutrients on a regular basis. However, one key deciding fact in favor of taking the supplements is number one, certain supplements, especially amino acids, have isolated effects if you take them individually. The reason why is because whenever you take an supplements on an empty stomach generally it has a better ability to cross the blood brain barrier and basically go into your brain so if you're taking something like l-theanine l-theanine is an amino acid that helps you kind of relax get more of an alpha mental state is what it's called alpha brain waves and it's very helpful for focusing for relaxing in high doses very beneficial amino acid however if you take something like that with a load of other amino acids or with the actual meal the ability for individual amino acids to go across the blood-brain barrier is not going to be as high and that is where certain supplements will play their hand as best they can and actually get to the brain and deliver a desired effect so for many supplements you will have a better effect by getting them from supplemented sources rather than food now Keep in mind, you always have to be careful that the supplement itself was manufactured in a proper manner. You don't want artificial ingredients, you don't want artificial dyes, artificial fillers, artificial preservatives, even an artificial capsule with a supplement you're taking, because these things can be problematic and, of course, can cause more harm than good. But if we're talking clean supplements, this can absolutely play out well for you. Now let's get into some of the other benefits you can have from supplements over food. Certain supplements will actually... Well, I'm not going to say they come in a more bioavailable form, but for some nutrients, the purported best ways to get them are not necessarily true. For example, vitamin C. People say, oh yeah, fruits have great amount of vitamin C, but there's a good argument against getting vitamin C, for example, from food, because A, the besides the fact that most of the nutrients are going to be bound by anti-nutrients, which are basically the, the parts of the fruit you don't want to eat, the parts of the food you don't want to eat, like the, the skin or the stem or things like that anti-nutrients are basically compounds that leach certain minerals from your body and basically they're not going to have on a regular basis and what this will combat the absorption of vitamin c for is you will basically have some of these nutrients being encased some of these proteins example being encased in anti-nutrients and they're going to be undigestible anyways for you because they're simply going to pass through the stomach because they're plant defense mechanisms so also vitamin c for example competes with sugar for absorption so essentially if you were to have you know an apple a day as your source of vitamin c because of the sugar in the apple even though it's not the most high glycemic sugar out there it would compete with vitamin C for the absorption of vitamin C. And you're probably not getting that much from an apple a day. You, in that case, might be better to get a very high quality vitamin C supplement, such as a liposomal vitamin C supplement, such as a vitamin C complex that has the necessary cofactors and basically provides the whole package as it can benefit you from taking an isolated form. Uh, and basically that would be better than getting it from food in that case. So that's another example right there. But now I guess we'll get into some of the food sources that would be better because a lot of times when people ask me about certain supplements I recommend, they're naturally derived from food. But, and of course you can eat the food on a regular basis, but you're probably not gonna get an isolated effect. But a lot of times foods will contain the necessary cofactors or at least some of them will. For example, that vitamin C scenario, 
apples are probably not the best source if you're trying to get high dose vitamin C. However, if you get some nice grass fed liver or cod liver, for example, vitamin C is going to be very rich in those foods and the necessary cofactors are going to be there to actually help it absorb and do what it needs to do in the body. So a lot, and especially with a lot of my keto dieting videos, for example, vitamin C, you don't require as much uh, because you're not jamming your body with sugar all the time, which competes with vitamin C. So that's another example that I play out right there. But when we're looking at stuff that actually is better absorbed, we're talking about the, in the context of what a certain nutrient dissolves better in or what it works better with when it's packaged with certain things. So certain foods will deliver naturally in their whole food form, they will deliver better environments for certain nutrients to absorb. So for example, B supplements, okay, B vitamins are another water soluble nutrient. And a lot of B supplements actually suck, not the ones I've listed down below, because those are very high quality, and I'll never promote anything unless it's high quality. But the thing is certain B supplements, a lot of these companies will basically try to use cheap quality forms of certain vitamins, or they'll they won't have the proper ratios, they won't look into the research as much about what is necessary for certain amounts. And a lot of companies will basically do that to rinse out the profit margins and basically get a higher return without actually caring about the purpose of the product. Because in their eyes, it'll still do more harm than good. But a lot of times when you have, you know, eggs or high quality eggs or high quality meat, you will be getting far more amounts uh, of B vitamins in the appropriate ratios that they naturally occur in in nature that we would have been eating for thousands of years of evolutionary history. And they will be in the appropriate forms that are more bioavailable rather than simply slamming together a bunch of random uh, different sources of certain B vitamins, not in the proper ratios, things of that nature. So that's another area where, you know, this sort of mercantilism of companies is something you have to watch out for. It's insidious. So many companies do this because they're trying to make a higher margin. That's where you have to be careful and make sure you get high quality supplements in addition to high quality food, because that will provide more of these natural food sources of certain minerals. On the whole, a lot of people would think that I'm this a carnivore guy if I recommended a lot of these food sources of where to get more bioavailable nutrients. However, I never present myself that way because I do not think that that is the be all end all. I advertise myself as a keto guy, okay, a fasting guy, because I change my dietary variations all the time. I'll do a few weeks with a vegetarian approach, a few weeks with more carnivorous approach. There's different ways to keep your body basically guessing and always adaptable to stress. And that is how humanity would have evolved over thousands of years of evolution, okay? And when we're looking at are some food sources better than certain nutrients, uh, of course, this doesn't mean that supplements are completely useless. They're not. They're not obsolete at all. They have very isolated purposes for specific results. And when we're looking at foods as a, as a source, they're going to be better on a regular basis, provided you get high quality foods, pesticide free foods, organic foods. Those things are going to be far more beneficial to you. And again, certain food sources, if they're not processed properly, might contain combative properties so example if you're buying uh you know some certain vegetable for a salad because you think it's going to be beneficial and it's giving certain benefits for the gut bacteria that's great but if it's not if it's been sprayed with pesticides if it's been handled in a way that is going to you know add hormonal effects from the spray and the you know monocropping that was used to produce that plant you will get far more negative effects than positive ones. So that's another reason why you have to be mindful of both and simply try your best to get high quality foods and whenever you get supplements, high quality supplements. Look into the reasons behind certain supplements and any of my videos will explain that thoroughly. <laughs> and again, always try to get high quality. That's the best way I could wrap this up. There are definitely some ways to you know, dive deeper into this, but if I did, it would probably make you think that I'm just some carnivore zealot but that's not true it's just that most animal products do tend to have more bioavailable sources of certain nutrients with the exception of some that really can benefit people uh, but we just wouldn't have access to them all year round like in nature because in nature most vegetables and carb products don't grow in the winter time they simply don't so most of our nutrition would have been coming from animal foods in a large part but again that's where this sort of balance comes in mixing up the two our body would probably benefit from both in certain ways uh, however, primarily more so some of these animal foods, they do have more bioavailable sources. So look into those things, leave me some questions, always try to be open minded with these, you know, topics. And uh, besides that, leave a like, subscribe, Anthony Romano, peace.